this notion of applying least privilege, not just to prevention, but to detection and response, I think is a really, really critical point because people all tend to think of it as something that you permanently block. But um, incredibly powerful concept to provide a very bright signal about being able to see something significant is wrong and here's where you need to look and this is what's happening and then how to respond to it. And uh, as you know, Sean, we've been developing a lot in this area and some of the new technologies that we were building are exactly in this space. The idea being using our position in the virtualization layer to have a clear view into um, how uh, an application, the intent of the application, the intent of the pieces that compose that application, um, and then to be able to do sort of real-time attestation on what's really happening compared to its intent. Uh, the idea is being able to instantaneously spot when a component of a critical application or the interactions between components in a critical application are, are meaningfully different than intended. And that's a very, very bright signal that someone is in there, they're manipulating an operating system, they're injecting scripts, they're modifying the application. It's a very bright signal and it's very actionable. And then of course, part of what we're building, as you know, is leveraging the infrastructure again for response, yeah. right? The ability to insert full packet capture, uh, kill a machine, bring up a gold image, quarantine. I mean, it's a, it's a, wonderful, it's a wonderful mechanism and, and it, I think it will help not just customers, but the whole security ecosystem, because they can take advantage of it too. Security products themselves can leverage this visibility, leverage that context, leverage those remediation mechanisms. So we're, we're very, very excited about it. Again, amount of alert fatigue that, that most security operations teams are dealing with. And being able to surface those actionable signals, as you mentioned, uh, is going to be immensely helpful for those, those people to focus on what's most important and to not get lost in the sea of alerts. Yeah. Uh, and to your point of the security ecosystem players, anytime we can provide you know, signal intelligence of actionable threats that we can feed into other people, um, that can help not only uh, other groups within your own company, but obviously the industry as a whole. Mutual customers can benefit from strong signals uh, of attack intelligence that um, they might not otherwise have the ability to obtain. Uh, in a DevOps world, the application teams are increasingly getting declarative yeah. about what components are. These components are more focused and immutable, and that only helps this model. So in this new detection and response, this, this project Goldilocks that we've been working on, that actually takes advantage of it. Uh, you know, we can apply it to uh, you know, brownfield environments, but it, it really is, is a, a beautiful partnership with this whole move to a DevOps where we can take advantage of this movement to be more declarative and leverage that context for security. So, I'm glad that you mentioned detection and response. I mean, we're, we're working a lot within end user computing and focusing on detection and response. I think most people agree at this stage that um, it's almost impossible to guarantee you can't be breached. Um, so a lot of the focus is moving from how do we prevent every attack to how do we um, associate spending against the right level of risk, as we talked about before. Yeah. Um, but on top of that, once we have been breached, how do we quickly respond to that? Because I mentioned if things are going weeks, months, or years, and we can't identify the attack has occurred and respond to it, that's very dangerous. So we focused a lot on kind of our um, and user computing platform, where we've got all this data from all these endpoint devices, um, correlating that data and being able to quickly react and remediate to a, a threat um, based on signal intelligence, either from the security team or even from uh, other signals, as you've mentioned. So I think it gives us a lot of capability um, to much more quickly squash security threats than, than we had in the past. Mm -hmm.